see if it's working. Am I doing anything? I thought I did. It's doing something. I'm not sure. Oh. Is it? Well, that's cool. I can't see my picture. Oh, dear. I think. That's the one. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> we shall see. Oh yeah, mine's behind a little bit. Okay. Awesome. Do 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 do. No, I don't really do that. I'm just playing waiting music. Where's my phone? Right. What's good waiting music? Oh, I better be careful about that because they only like you to use certain music. So, all right. I'm just here. Hmm. Let's practice. What's a good opening? Hello, people of the internet. No, that's already taken. Hmm. Hello, welcome to my channel. No, that's taken. Hi, guys. No, that's taken. Hmm. Anyway, this is a my dog squeaky toy. Now for my next trick. While I wait for people to come in. If you stayed this long on the replay, thank you. It really is just I'm testing. I want to make sure you can hear me. And I suppose I could have just sent out a you know a plan ahead of time hey come watch me but I thought no let's just try it out now while we're waiting I could show you some stuff oh okay this is the first thing I grabbed I have this little notebook uh, I think we just got at the local store and I had other stuff in it. I just I decided to tear that all out and make it a I guess a documentation of the pages I've been doing. And I think maybe I got this idea from coloring with K. Now you'll probably hear me say coloring with K coloring with a Elena, Chris Ching, you might hear Emily Illustrator once in a while, <laughs> uh, who else, oh there's just so many, but my, I guess my top, top three are going to be in no particular order, uh, Coloring with Kay, 
coloring with Alana, Elena, Elena, and Chris Ching. Those are my my top three that I I just love their style of coloring. Their they just they all have something different. Um, coloring with K is a lot of sparkles. She's all sparkly and glittery, and I love adding that to my my stuff. So anyway, this this is what um, this is the idea that I she gave me or I just got from her. YouTube channels. Okay, um, what I did was I wrote the name of the book, and um, I kind of changed this up a little bit. Um, I've got the name of the artist that I followed, and the page, what their, whatever their page is. This one happened to be Oval Bird Leaves, and I suppose I could open that up and show you. But I wanted to do this. Now, I've gotten more organized with it uh, since then. I'll show you. Um, to keep track of what colors I used. Because if I stop in the middle of, or at the big quarter way through finishing a page, and I've maybe put my pencils up or just, you know, just walked away and for another day. And this way I would remember... Uh, what I was using. The other th other reason I wanted to do it, and you might see this, uh, in this particular one, she's using uh, Prismacolor. I wanted to use Black Widows. So I decided to, since I already have, gosh, I really am a scatterbrain. I think of one thing, and then I think of another thing, and then I think of another thing. Anyway, I'm really just doing this off the fly, so I, I can see that I'm going to need some kind of basic thing I'm going to talk about in each um, each video. So, like I said, this is just testing. Um, anyway, I did um, I did my own, and I also I looked at someone else's. Um, no, actually, I did this one on my own. I matched the Prisma colors with the. Uh, Black Widows. And so that's what I wanted to use that day. Now some of them like Lime Peel, Gray Green Light, that, that kind of thing. Celadon Green. You, there's no equivalent in, in at least just the few pencil sets I have. Anyhow, that, that's another reason. It, if I wanted to exchange or trade or whatever you call it, uh, convert to another pencil set, then I wanted to be able to write that down, and that's what I did. Um, later on, let's see, now I'm putting the name underneath, so you can see that, instead of on the side. Um, later on, I started to break it up a little bit. I did this lines, that these lines, just to break them up so uh, like in the last half of it, I used that set, and that was something. And I, I didn't do. Oh, this one is <laughs> polychromos and prisma colors. So I don't have the polys. I know, I know. Maybe eventually, I don't know. Um, and so that's why I don't have any uh, color names on that. I mean, color names, little circle colors. I had a hard time with this one. Um, and then some, I just, uh, this is, I think, uh, did I do this just myself? Yeah. Frog cycle. All right. Cool. So some of them actually do myself, and I come up with colors myself. Um, some of this I might have just decided, um, I like this particular set of colors. I think I'm going to put it on here. Who knows? Um, other times I'm just watching someone do a video and they don't really tell you exactly what they're using. Then I'll just kind of guess. Oh, that must be Earth Tone. Okay, so then I started to put the time, the date in there that I would finish. Um, 
and I also started to write in what this set of colors goes to like the, for the fish it's all of these all of these colors all this is background you know I used all kinds of gel pens and various paints on it I didn't want to write that down uh, this one was just the bubble wrap deal I don't want to go do that again uh, it's on coloring with Elena she would paint on the page and then she wadded up some plastic which I might use with that and she uh, put it down stuck it down and waited about 10 15 minutes or 30 minutes it might have been 30 minutes um, and then came back and pulled it off and it was cool so that's what that was um, here's one where I started the day start uh, when I started it and when I finished it and this was my astronaut so you can see now I'm putting what certain colors are here's the grass here's the bushes here's the sky here's the pyramid and I did so I'm it maybe it's an OCD thing I don't know I like to be organized on on the paper so later on I'll come back and I'll go you know I remember I really like the grass from this one thing so I'm gonna go pull those out the other thing I did here was, um, I think I mostly use Black Widows and some, some, um, PC, PC, that's Prismacolor. Later I put, I think I put FC for Polychromos because that was going to be confusing. Uh, what else did I do here? Um, if I go ahead and use a color from this side, then I will color a little circle. But if I don't, I don't do that. Uh, this one, this space one, took a, a lot of pages. Um, and here's where I did put some jelly roll on, on there. I only used one, so I thought I'll just put that on there. Here's a Circle of Life Mountain Cabin. This is the one that I didn't finish, I think. No, I did. I used Sioux Colors. I haven't used my Sioux Colors in a long time. And I thought, I need to pull those out and use them because I really do like them. When you start to use them, it's, it's relaxing. There's something about the way that pencil feels, on, at least with my hands. It's really, um, really nice. And that was a really long one. Mountain Cabin. I guess I did finish it. I just don't remember finishing it. <laughs> Village Charm. There's my date started and my date ending. Now this one I did not write down what each section, each uh, bit of it was. I just um, just went down the row. So it really is. This one came next. This one came next. It's in order of use. Uh, oh, I, I put a note to myself here. I used many of these colors all over the page. Elena, that's one of her. I think the others others do it too, but. Um, one of the things she, she likes to do is to put different colors uh, it, that are in one section into another and kind of uh, bring the picture together. So that is what I did on that. Um, here's the Venice one. Here, here was one that I started and I didn't finish. Sorry about the cat. She's fed, she's just elderly, and likes to meow. So there, you see FC for um, the polychromos. And I was going to start, I started this one, but I really, I don't know why I stopped it. Anyhow, I jumped over here, I, st I jumped on a um, 
Teresa Goodwitch bandwagon and I oh my goodness okay okay hello all right and I've just been doing a lot of those I've just had the best time and here I did start to break it down by um, by section what I colored this one I was going to start and I don't believe I finished so I'm still working on that one um, what else oh this is it's a long story that's a whole nother thing here's another one gosh I've actually done a lot you don't think about it when it's closed up uh, here's one I'm still working on Kind of getting difficult so when I've got it closed up and I'm doing one and and putting the colors on and the names and I just flip it over here but when I start to look at what I have done I thought, well that's a lot anyway I thought you might like to know that All right, what else do I have? Oh, if you could, I know, everybody, we all have a thing with a messy uh, desk. Um, there's something I threw together. I was going to do this, and I think it's just more trouble than it's worth. I was trying to make a book just for the wet media out of um, very good watercolor paper. That I just cut in half and I put I got this idea off of Amazon it was a picture and I said wait I can do that I've got a whole bunch of these little rings if you don't have these rings you will use them there's a hundred of them in the in the container you think I'll never use all these but you really do so I might have abandoned that uh, here's some Okay, I just really loved this case. It has this beautiful, watery, spacey type of thing, type of print on it, and I like it so much I got it. And I put, so this came in a different case, obviously, and I, wanted it in this case but what I ended up doing because these little cups are a different size really I just you probably can't see uh, maybe you can I cut with a scissor cut some off and made it fit so if it fits it sits and this is not the most expensive um, glittery metallic -y paint but I love it and when I did this card for it to put in here I didn't wait for it to sit and that was I that was an idea from coloring with Kay also um, she said let let it sit a minute or two or three and then pick it up and it would be even better um, and I've done that on a couple of these and I think she's absolutely right it's a little little better here I did that one today so I can tell um, this side is a little more watery than this side anyway anyhow so um, I'll do maybe a, a video on this particular set later but I do like it um, I can't remember I will I'll just go back and look but anyhow I just I made this out of um, some watercolor paper and I believe I got that idea from coloring with K also so I get I have that near I really like that all right nobody's here but that's okay so now um, I'm gonna open this all right uh, let's see, Lindsay from the Frugal Crafter, I think that's what you call the channel, 
I, you'd think I'd know the name, but anyway, frugal, frugal, the frugal crafter. And I got that. I got this on her recommendation. I said, the, the gouache paints that you did say you like the best, they don't sell them anymore. So what would you recommend? And she said this one. And I saw the reviews of it and they were great. Um, the only complaint was how big it was and that this might break. But I haven't even opened it yet, uh, this, these little things on the side. But when, when they were talking about the paint itself, themselves, it was just fine. Oh, Marty, you left. You didn't want to sit in my lap. So I'm going to open this. And honestly, I'm not sure if I want to keep it. I didn't, I knew it was big and it's sort of like buyer's remorse. There's nothing wrong with the paint. I'm sure. Uh, it's just, did I really need to buy this many paints? Let me show you the bottom of this thing. Look at that. That is a lot of paints. And it was a heavy box. It came just like this in this paper. I might actually pause the video in a little bit, go eat. But anyway, okay, so I've got it out of that. Oh my goodness. All right, let me measure this for you. This, I've had this a long time. It even has paint on it. It was my daughter's, I think. All right, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 by probably 11 and a half. It goes right there, yeah. So we'll see that, all right. Anna Ghani, Annie Ghani, Annie's gone. <laughs> and it's good plastic. Okay, so it's got these. Marty! Y'all won't believe how much I need to edit this video because my cat, she's okay. Right. I'm gonna be very careful when I'm taking these off because several, not several, one, maybe two people said something about it breaking. Um, but it also could have been another one that I was re looking at the reviews, but I'm gonna be careful anyway. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh. It smells like paint. Okay, here is, this is one of the reasons I, I did go ahead and get this one. Probably some others have this, I'm not sure, but it's got this little foam, little foam, um, quarter inch in here and it's supposed to help keep the moisture out and you can see it's dented with the you know paints underneath now how it's going to stay clean I don't know I might mm, put something there uh, if you got any ideas post them uh-oh, did my light go out? Oh, it's there. 
All right. This has how many? 56? There it is, 56. Wow. This is why I'm thinking, do I need this many paints? I mean, I, I don't think I ever have to mix to get a different color. It's got all the colors in the world. All right, well, let's look at... I'm going to pop over here. Okay, nobody's in there. It's fine, no problem. All right. Um, one of the things I need to know from the viewers is about the sound. Is the sound good? Is the lighting good? <laughs> All right. Um, one of the reviews talked about the name not being on the, the little tub, on the jelly, jelly tub. And probably I would also, the name is in Chinese. I will have to go to that website and get the names or I can just come up with my own names. But I probably will put the number hmm. They all say five thirty, fifty thirty. Hmm. All right, well I'll just have to go to the website and look for the number. Uh, and the name, because it's not on here. I kind of like how these are got the side off because a corner off. Now, it will keep you from putting any other gouache in here, I think. Yeah. But it's it's easier to get it out. How many of you have opened your little gouache set of paints and you had to dig, dig down and got your fingers dirty? So this is good. I like this. Uh, there are such a variety of colors. I'm definitely, I mean, I'm looking at them going, and I've got to put this in order, color order. And also, it's like, maybe I should do a video of me putting coloring water really fast. Um, well, let's see. We've got a um, lilac color. Maybe a indigo blue. A deco yellow color. So you've got one, two, three, four, four good yellows. And you've got an orange here, orange. Here's a creamy orange. It looks like it has one white and one black, which is fine. Um, some gouache sets come with two. Let's see, you've got a blue, blue. blue. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I really like this. There's some pastels in here. I really like those. Okay. I am seeing a problem with this one. It's dried. Now I know I can rehydrate that. Yeah, you can see it's cracked. So I'm not sure how that becomes dry when it's in a little deal like this. So
that's oh, that's not dry. It's good. Yeah. Uh, here's a turquoise. Here's. I just love these colors. Look at that one. Okay, well, 56 colors, one each of black and white, which is good. Um, there's a variety, of a variety, big variety. So I'm going to pause this video and, or stop this video, and I will pick another time to actually open these and I guess watch them and also try to see if I can't rehydrate that one. Okay. Well, this was a test anyway. The big test for me would is going to be when I've closed this up and get the same result as this other person said. They had left it a month and it was still wet. So I'm I'm excited about that. Right. I'll see y'all later. How do I get out of here?